everyone, I'm Olga Horvath. Welcome to Wolf Conservation Center in South Salem. This wolf up here is Aleua. She's five years old, she's a gray wolf, and um, that's her brother Zephyr right next to her. He's five as well. <laughs> So does anyone have a brother or sister at home that sometimes bothers them? <laughs> That's what's happening here. So Today I'm with Maggie Howell. She's director of Wolf Conservation Center in South Salem. I just visited this center and it looks amazing, this nature and wolves and everything that you have to show to the public, you can't see in the city because we just came from Manhattan. And I see you have many programs. Can you tell us some of the programs that you teach here? Sure. So we, um, we're really doing a couple major things here, one of which is education. Um, so we have just our general Wolves of North America program. We have lots of children's programs. We have after school. We have summer camp. Uh, we have sleepovers. Uh, we actually have a camping out, uh, sleeping with wolves camp out tonight, um, which has been extremely popular. Um, you just mentioned sleeping with wolves. What do you exactly mean sleeping? Are they really going to be next to the wolves sleep overnight or? Yeah, so no, we actually set up tents um, and uh, basically it's overnight and the wolves are still where they are and the humans are still uh, in areas designated for people and no wolves, but uh, they're really going to be able to to have a much more relaxed, uh, longer experience. Uh, and it's, they're going to hear all the nighttime chatter. So whether it's the, the spring peepers, the frogs, the insects, um, also they're going to hear probably a lot of wolves howling all night long. What is the difference between wolf and a dog? Um, well, dogs and wolves are extremely uh, closely related. And um, I think one of the biggest differences is their relationship uh, with man. So, um, you know, wolves really want nothing to do with people. They're, they normally stay far away from people. They're shy and elusive. They're wild animals. Where dogs are man's best friend and they serve us in some way, whether it's just with comfort or hunting dogs or guard dogs or therapy dogs or, you know, just again, support in general. So Does wolf make a good pet? No, wolves are not pets. And instead, if you still really want a wolf as a pet, go adopt a dog. <laughs> <laughs> there are some other organizations in the country very similar to yours. Uh, one of them is um, Wolf Connection in California, or there is another, it's called Dakota Wolf Preserve in New Jersey. How is this facility different from them? Um, I think what makes us different from um, those two and a number of others, uh, even though there are others that are similar t as well, um, is that we're not only doing education with captive wolves, uh, but we really are um, participating in the recovery of uh, critically endangered red wolves and also critically endangered Mexican gray wolves, where we do captive breeding, we do research, uh, we make recommendations for release. And, uh, and so um, really we're having an impact on that wild population directly. Um, I did a little research what they're doing in California and just compare to the east side and it looks like they're more advanced. Mm -hmm. They have more like interactive uh, communication with them. They, they um, teach uh, young adults how to overcome addiction. And well, um, that's just really not our mission. We're just more okay. concerned with wolves taking their place in the wild landscape. So. Thank you, Maggie, for showing us this center and facilities and your wonderful wolves. Oh, thank you, Olga, so much for coming. <laughs>